isn't she a beauty? Let me introduce myself. My name is Norman MacLeod, and I'm a lighthouse keeper. Welcome to Canada's Science and Technology Museum's Lighthouse. Lighthouses have been a part of Canada's coastal landscape for hundreds of years. But as you can see, this one's nowhere near the water. That's because she was moved to Ottawa in 1980. In fact, she's moved quite a bit in her time. Her 32 cast iron panels were fabricated in England in 1855 and shipped to Newfoundland where the lighthouse was to be built. At Cape Race, to be exact. And it took a 20-man crew an entire summer and 800 bolts to put her together. Then in 1907 she was dismantled and moved to Cape North on Cape Breton Island in Nova Scotia to replace an old wooden one. She stood there for 73 years before making her final trip to Ottawa, where she still stands, tall and proud, on the grounds of the museum's technology park. Now come along with me and I'll give you the grand tour. Being a lighthouse keeper is an important job. You see, the light guides the boats, big ships and small fishing boats alike, and lets them know how far they are from shore. Ah, here is the heart of the lighthouse. Every night at sunset, I come here to light up the lamp. Its light is concentrated by the lens and makes a strong beam that sweeps the horizon and is seen by everyone at sea. During the night, I come back at set intervals to check that the lamp is still on and to add fuel if necessary. If the weather is foggy or dark, I come earlier or let it run longer. During the day, I clean, polish, and maintain the lens, the lamp, and the turning mechanism. You don't want them to malfunction, because that could be disastrous for those at sea. And about once a year, I repaint the lighthouse. She used to be all red, you know. But sailors complained that she was hard to see against the mountain. So she was painted with this checkerboard design in 1962. You know, there's a lot more to learn about my lighthouse. Why don't you come and see her for yourself? <laughs> <laughs>